welcome to episode, I think, 10 of Steak and Eggs, or is this episode 9? I have no idea. I honestly. don't know. I lost count. It's, it's probably nine. But I lost uh, count after the second episode. It was like after that, it's like, yeah, so it's a podcast and there's how yeah. many there are. <laughs> I'm still yeah. shocked that we made it to a third it. episode. But uh, we are your host, Tectone, Asma Gold, and Emeru. And tonight we actually got some crazy stuff to talk about. Oh, boy. Because this week was actually nuts. Uh, speaking of which, did y'all see here? But Asma, did you watch OTK Game Day? I watched like a few clips of it, but I, I was asleep the whole time. I woke up at like 5 p.m. and I went to Chipotle and I'm like, damn, so oh that God. so they did the thing. That's crazy. Wow. What clips did you see? Uh, I, I think I saw one of it was the blue team that won, right? Yep. Uh, cheated and won. Yes. OK, yeah. So Wait, how, they didn't cheat. So you were on how the red team. Then? I was on the red. team. I was also on the. OK, so red team was all, like by chance, pretty much all of OTK plus E-Rob. And then the blue team was pretty much everyone that was from out of town, like okay. all the LA people, yeah. the squeaks. So that makes sense why they won. It was not by <laughs> chance, because <laughs> yeah. I was team captain, and I was like, "Well, I didn't know if you were doing it on purpose or not." I was, because I was oh, like, okay. "These are the people who I have to live with, so I don't want to piss them off." So right. I'm going to pick. But then these we lost. People. So how did that work out? We lost because Miskiff is an idiot. Okay, and what did they do? I would, okay, so the first round, and you can watch this. I absolutely dominate. Okay. Like, I shred. Sure. I uh, spike the ball. I go nuts. I'm the unpenetrable wall. The chat was calling me the demon of volleyball. Uh, and then we win the first game confidently, dominantly. And the enemy team starts saying that it is not fair. What's not fair? That I'm so tall and that I'm in front and I get to block every shot, which I can't help that I'm a freak. Okay. That, that's complete bullshit. I agree. Yeah, that's not what that's... happened, but I'm going to let him finish. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> let, let me cook. Let me cook. Okay. <laughs> because the reality is, yes, I might be tall and I might win a game of volleyball, but the reality is I will die 20 years younger than anybody else. So let me have this. <laughs> so then Mizkiff thought, as he always does, content brain Mizkiff says, well, we should just do rotation, which here's the, here's the reality. Okay. I could do one thing good, okay, yeah. and that was stand up and block the ball. And so he said, we should do rotation. And then, bro, I was as useless as a sack of a potatoes the moment I moved to the back line. It's hard, bro. So they they made you play a bad position? Yeah, and they... Then that caused well, them. he had to play every position. Yeah. So, 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 did so why'd you guys actually lose? Um, it. I mean, it was because of the rotations, but yeah. the thing is, like... It, it, it the first round just wasn't fun like on our team only like three people were going to hit the ball like tecton was in front tecton he would was just, he would just go like and he would spike that shit yeah, and they wouldn't be able to get it nice it was, and like <laughs> it's like and it would have ended so quickly because we probably would have two and owed them like it sucks that we lost but dude, dude, i feel like it's better if like everyone gets to play and have fun and look, it's like if you can't play in the back line well, that's how are you your gonna problem. have fun if you lose that's what i'm saying and, yeah. and and let me let me ask you guys, I mean, okay, I did not uh, have as much fun because I lost. But the thing is, if we didn't rotate, I probably would have never fucking touched the ball at all. I don't think you touched the ball, anyways. Yes, I did. Maybe like twice. Did you throw That's it back in the, in the if, bounce. If you if you look up the OTK game day volleyball, Emmy just stands there like an NPC the whole time because she's That's so af- literally not true. That's OTK game day period. Yeah, dude, dude. Because okay, volleyball is the one where I actually like touched the ball like five to six times. Dude, it was because. Can I tell them what you said? Uh, it depends on if it's true. You said. You said. I don't know if you remember this. Okay, you. Oh, said, I don't know if you remember this. The yeah. gaslighting. Before no, ask me. Tell me it. if you remember it. You said. Tectone, I'm too afraid to move because I don't want to get injured, so I'm gonna just stand still and hope nobody hits me. No, there's okay. That's that's that. that is like 95 percent what I said. I okay. said okay. I said the reason I don't move is because when I move, the chance of a man that is like twice my weight mm-hmm. colliding into me increases significantly. So yeah. I stand still because if I don't move, then it's easier for them to dodge me. And it, and that it's, makes sense. And it's the truth because what happens is you want to know why Miz is one and seven in game day. Because he just doesn't trust anybody on his team. So he attempts to overcome Well, he tries to. The thing is, like, you know what he does? He does the same mm. thing that Dr. Disrespect does. Mm. Is he will go out in Warzone and he will take a snipe at somebody <laughs> in a helicopter across the map. Yeah. And he will miss every single shot. But yeah. once a year, he will hit a shot. 
and yep. he will post it on Twitter and he'll be like, look, boys, there it is. The two time champ. Yeah. You know, what do you expect? Happens all the time. There it and is. Then everybody's like, man, the doc does it again. He's just too good. <laughs> and like that's all Ms. Wait, Kip is trying to do. That works Warm on me, clips. though, because I thought doc was like a god because I've only seen the clips. I haven't watched his stream. Yep. See, it works. Yep. It works it really, work. really well. He's very good, but he is not fucking sniping somebody out of a helicopter on the other side of the map. Good. Like nobody is that good. <laughs> The, the thing with Miz is he actually is really good, but the problem uh -huh. is, is he terrifies everybody he gets near because he's injured what, three people so far? Something like that. He's the arm collector. <laughs> yeah, the arm yeah. collector. Even me, I'm just like when Miz or NMP gets angry, I'm just like, hey, whatever you say, boss. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, I'm just playing some volleyball, man. I'm not trying to get hit right now. Mm -hmm. You can feel like murderous intent, like when when they get angry, and I'm, I'm not about that, bro. It's just volleyball is volleyball. Although I will admit, yeah, I wanted to win. I've never wanted to win a sporting game that bad before. Really? I, I actually got like, I didn't cry, but I was like actually so devastated that we lost because I literally thought like, okay, oh my but God, we're going to win. Can we admit, like you say like we lost because of the rotations. Yeah, we did. But we, our team scored most of the other team's points. Like people were hitting what? the ball into the net. People were like launching the ball out of the zone and mm -hmm. shit. That's, yeah. But that's because, but that didn't happen the first round because we were like confident in our positions. And if we didn't rotate, that wouldn't happen. Cause like think about it, how many how many how many things did I miss first round? I think it's a mental game. Really? We could have won. We could have won, but people were getting discouraged. I and think bad. I think you're a red team apologist, right? I think you have I an think agenda. I've, I think I've always been red team. That's crazy. What, what what do you think that means? It means that I don't know how to play sports, which is what I said <laughs> from the beginning. And then I show up, I, and they're like they're like Emmy, do you even want to be here? I'm like, of no. course I want to be here. Oh really? Okay. You do. I mean, I show up. Contractually. Contra contractually, I would love to be here right Look, now. Look, I, sh I show up to support my friends, yeah. but they expect too much out of me. And I hope that next year they expect even less. Well, if it means anything, I expect nothing from you. Thank you. You're Maybe welcome. you can just be a caster next year. I asked for that, and they said, no, we want you to be on the camera. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, it's just... I think it's a little bit unfair for you to be on the same field that like Tectone is on. I feel like it's this is a little well, I, bit. I thought this year eh, would be better you know. because last year there were very few girls that were invited. Yeah. But this year there was like uh, yeah, extra Emily. Was was there another girl that's yeah, around? Oh, Peach Jars, uh, uh, well, Peach, well, Fandy. Peach Jars, fan, Fandy. They're like actually like so, like sort of athletic. They are. There was like me, Emily, and Daff. I was like, okay, I have a chance. But then Daff was like fucking catching footballs and shit at the end goal. I was like, oh my. God. Oh yeah, her hands were made of glue. Yeah. She was insane. Wow. But yeah, like it was cool because uh, what Peach Jars and Jessica Negri showed up, mm -hmm. and they were like holding up signs, like cheering everybody on. Mm -hmm. It was so cute. I love people do that. And Sear, he got he has like a like a messed up rotator cuff or something. Yeah. And so he was like RPing as like a coach the entire time. Uh huh. But dude, I don't know, man. Game day is just so fun. The thing is, like, I do try in game day, but like my survival instincts just won't let me, and also I just literally can't. Like I'm so unathletic. Just like a D-Gen shut-in. I literally cannot do it even when oh, I try. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I get it, dude. If I was if I was your build as well, I would be horrified. It's like Space Jam. I, you, the thing is, like, you I know what I'm talking about? Excited, it's like Space Jam. Like, every week before we actually play, like, the girls will usually warm up together. And I'm like, oh, this isn't too bad. And then we'll get on the field, and it'll be like Will Neff, Wake Wilder, Ms. Kiff. <laughs> and I'm like, never mind. Never mind. I was delusional. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hell Yeah. <laughs> Dude, also, Will Neff getting robbed of MVP every game day is so annoying to me. Because like, he should have won. He's so good. Getting what? MVP. So oh, okay. whoever does the best. I don't know, man. Will keeps getting robbed, but I love Billy. He's Dude, that's that's one of my favorite people. He is so cool. Billy? We should get him on the podcast, by the way. Billy? Yeah, Billy Will Neff. Oh, Billy's name. Wait, Will, Will Neff's name is Billy? Yeah, Billy Nefarious. What? Yeah. Oh, no, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, I get yeah. it. Yeah. Will Neff, Billy Nefarious. What? That's, that's his legal name. That's his legal name? Nef yeah, yeah, nefarious? Bill <laughs> that's Billy Nefarious. That's why he's abbreviated. Why, are, why is he so cool? He is so and Caroline, cool. And his girlfriend, too. They're both, like, unironically, like, objectively the coolest people I've ever met. Yeah. No, they're that's awesome, nuts. man. What the fuck? Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, me and him were chilling on a couch the other day. Uh, we watched Amaranth stream for three and a half hours. Yeah. Did you see the clips of those? No. Yeah, so pretty much. What, the, what did they do? The gimmick was that uh, over the course of eight and a half hours, uh -huh. uh, Amaranth had to count to 100. Okay. And if she counted to 100, she would take off her towel and reveal her bikini. Right. But the problem is, is that if you sub, <laughs> it reverses the count. 
So I was in the car with her hearing her talk about this. Yeah. And she was like laughing about it. She was like, it's just amazing. I just stand there and count. Yeah. And then sometimes like I'll count slower or faster mm-hmm. and like people get so mad. And she was just like so happy. Yeah, it is <laughs> knowing that she has the control over them. And she, so did did she ever get to a hundred? So she got to a hundred and then she took off the towel, and here's the twist. There was another towel underneath, and the mini game ensued. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> yep. And me and me and Billy, we sat there three and a half hours and we talked about anime and yelled at a screen like a couple of old dudes. Wow. And then slowly and surely we amassed a crowd. Soon wow. S fan joined. Bonnie, uh, what, Diddy Sauce, Cinna, Wojito, Squeak, Simply, we all gather around the couch. and That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Just chilling with the boys and the girls and just watching Amaranth collect money from well, thousands of people. The craziest people. part to me is that she can, she can do that for eight hours straight. Yeah. And it's just like enjoying it the whole time. Yeah. It was eight one. Eight hours straight. I think that it's like you have to embrace being insane. Like you have to like not worry anymore about going crazy because you realize you are you've been there you are there that's that's in your rearview mirror right it's just like you're just living your life you're going full speed ahead and it doesn't matter how fucking stupid it is how dumb you look how embarrassing it is it's all content and it doesn't matter that's what i think i think she's well past that well she put like psych like a uh, psychological thought into it she was like it's the sunken cost fallacy oh yeah like, no i know i <laughs> she was like talking about i was like oh my god she's a businesswoman man yeah that was one of the single most infuriating streams i've ever seen in my whole life yeah that was but did it was there even payoff did you see the bikini no nah, i got i got bored went home went to sleep yeah that's so sad i know i'll, I'll never know what was underneath it that's probably so another sad. towel yeah, probably yep God. did you guys ever see that one girl on twitch and she would like make people do a countdown to see her actually come on camera wait what do you mean so so this girl her name was like taylor javo or whatever and she she used to actually get on camera and do stretching you know in front of a pool oh I've, yeah I've, I've seen that girl yeah and so she would the sit, ipad right yes yeah and she would sit in front or sorry on the side of the camera and make people count down and then they would just sit there on the screen and there'd be no one on camera and she'd say okay guys i'm getting ready to come on camera i'm getting ready to come on camera and she would just drag this out for hours okay see i didn't for know fucking hours and then the best part is like i pulled up the graph right and like the viewership you're right the viewership went up and then as soon as she went on camera oh it was done and then she ended the stream that's crazy. what the fuck i also wasn't sure which cum you were using that's why i was confused oh what? no yeah i was anyways yeah. yeah i was like huh that's oh yeah yeah more us. and more more and more people would come in come into the stream <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh yeah they would show up to the stream they would yeah. arrive at the she, stream. she would get crazy would viership too right like four to six k yeah just and just like farm ads yes that's exactly that's exactly what they do yeah mm. I, I think it's really impressive. Like, I, I've seen so many people do the exact same thing, kind of, where it's just like the changing into a cute bikini. My dad watches Amaranth stream sometimes, and because it got recommended to him, and he's like, "Hey, who's this?" What a guy! Yeah, <laughs> and so he will even say, "He's like, yeah, she goes to change her bikini or her clothes, and she's gone for like an hour." Yeah. Like, he's like complaining about it to me i'm like i didn't do this like what do you want me to do you want me to tell her this yeah <laughs> tell her to hurry up that's why oh my god i think i really feel like twitch needs an after dark section yeah you know we're like there's like looser tos like, like it's asmr section zones. yeah the asmr section goes crazy yeah it's pretty close yeah like the the, the ear licking asmr that's that's some good shit Oh my god! I, I just like it. It's crazy how many of them there are. Yeah. I think that's what's so impressive about it. Yeah. It's like there's just rows and rows and rows of ear lickers, and it's and they all do pretty well. Those damn ear lickers, they sure fucking do. <laughs> and I, I think it's great. I don't really care. I've, I've always been an advocate of like pretty much anything, unless you're like actively hurting your audience, mm. you can do it. Do whatever the hell you want to do. I think it's funny when people get super mad about that. It's like the I, the th- like I don't really see those channels, so I feel like you have to be like looking for them to be like this is a huge problem. You know, I, I love know. them. Well, it'll get recommended to you sometimes, but it's like it, yeah, it's, it's like it's rare on the at on, least for me. But in real life, 
you walk down the, the sidewalk and you see a piece of shit on the grass and you walk by it. On the internet, you walk down the sidewalk, you see a piece of shit in the grass, you get on all fours, you roll around in the <laughs> shit, you get dirty, you get shit all over you, and then you're like, oh my god, who fucking did this to me? Somebody's gotta get this shit out of the fucking grass! <laughs> That's such a good analogy. Oh, That's what they do. I, I don't like a lot of those streams. I don't watch them. Problem solved. But some people can't handle that. So, so here's the thing. So the hot tub streamers are actually taking all of our viewership. So yeah. actually, Ashman, you don't understand. <laughs> like the people who think that, oh man, there's this chick with 20,000 views in a bikini. Now they're not going to watch me play World of Warcraft. And when people talked about that, there were like four of them. The, and I was like, yeah. what do you mean all of them? That's yeah. the thing. Is like I, I told people like the, I, I showed like the average global viewership for Twitch and it's like three to like, it's like two to five to, to four million. And it's like, I'm like, okay, so let's find out how many hot tub streamers there are. There's six, and they have. Yeah. It's like this. This is the conversation point that we're really getting focused on here. They're ruining it's, our platform. Yeah, it, it's so distorted. Oh, by the way, speaking of distorted, uh, y'all see any good April Fools' jokes? No, I hate April Fools. Uh, I think I, it's the lamest. The la what is? It's not even a holiday. I don't like April Fools. It, it sucks. Do you like April Fools? I don't know. I Has feel April like Fools ever been funny? I feel like the only time that it's funny is if it's bad. Like, if there's a bad joke that you shouldn't do April Fool's for, and it's like, okay, that's good. You know, but besides that, it's just really not that funny. I just, I'm tired of the emotional manipulation of seeing my favorite content creators go online and say, I am quitting YouTube every yeah. April Fool's. Okay? I'm tired of being toyed it's with. It's not funny, dude. Not funny. It's annoying. It's hurtful. And I'm, I'm done with it. Okay? Because I saw one of my favorite YouTubers. His name is Ryan Trahan. Mm -hmm. You all heard of him? No. He's the guy who traveled across the country on Just a Penny. Okay. Oh, I've heard about him. That is a cool ass video i used to dude, i used to make that my morning routine i would wake up watch ryan trahan eat a chick-fil-a burrito which are by the way crazy they have burritos oh yeah dude in the morning i didn't even know that yeah chick-fil-a cool. breakfast burrito it is nuts by okay. the way it's egg hash brown chicken and they give you picante mm. sauce i'm thinking about that and i'm starving all right speaking That's of which good. random tidbit panda express now has a burrito at like two select locations what yeah in la there's two it. there's two panda that serve burritos in it so it's just a normal meal, but they just put it in a burrito wrap. And it also looks crazy. That's dumb. Like, who would want? That's <laughs> okay. so dumb. Okay, so there's like noodles, fried rice. There was like chicken in there. Yeah. It's just a normal thing, but it's in a burrito wrap. I feel like it's, I think it's convenient. You don't like that? You don't like that, Aswin? I mean, it looks good, but like. No, I don't want that. I could just eat the food normally. Like, I don't, like, the thing is, I don't like a lot of bells and whistles on my fucking food. It's like, I, I just want to eat the food. Dude. Like, just give me the food, and I'm happy. Yeah, I get That's that. it. Yeah, I, I, I hate it whenever people try to make things fancy. Like, I will go to a fancy restaurant, and it's like, I, I get so upset looking at the menu. <laughs> There's, like, all this weird stuff on it. It's like, you get a thing of mashed potatoes, and they've got to put five other things on the mashed potatoes. They're already a potato. It's no, already that's good. You don't like loaded mashed potatoes? Loaded with what? Cheese. Gravy. No. Bacon. Yeah, okay. Green onions. No. Gravy. Cream. No. That's crazy to me. I feel like mashed potatoes need right. gravy to like yeah, cut fine. to cut through the the, the stiffness, but I mean, it's just a wrap, you know? They're just wrapping it. I don't know. Like I, I I don't know. I feel like it's lazier to eat your Chinese food in a tortilla. It is like, lazy. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's bells and whistles. Yeah. But like my uh, my idea for my April Fool's present was that I was gonna tell people that I was just gonna go full time back into Genshin Impact. Yeah. Okay, because for some reason, my, my YouTube audience really wants that. My Twitch audience does not want that. I would say just, like, stream it and, and like, act like you're totally back into it on Twitch and be, like, you know, super focused on it, etc. Mm. And then the next day, just, like, don't even say it was April Fool's. Just never talk about it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, I figure, like, we'll probably just play something else today. Yeah. And, like, that's it. I actually, I actually felt uh, so confused. Because the, the new 3.6 came out. Promise is the last time I'm bringing it up. Uh, and the update, people thought, people were saying it was the best one ever. But it was just like a couple of new characters, new story, and then they implemented Flappy Bird as a minigame. Oh, for I Genshin? saw that. Yeah, for Genshin, yeah. Flappy Bird? Yeah, there's a Flappy Bird yeah, minigame. They game. added yeah. like a, a Hearthstone Runeterra card game. That actually wasn't bad. I it was that. it was fun for like a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. Did y'all play Blue Protocol? Nope. Bro, do you know how angry I was when I was watching you play that and I couldn't? I don't know. I was so jealous, bro. You had that. You had that one chick, and she was defending you because you yep. talked to her. Yeah, that was a beautiful moment. It was the weirdest shit. So, like, have you heard of the game? 
I haven't. Okay, what kind of a, game is this? It's like an I'm thinking of like Genshin Impact, like a little bit lower quality, like uh, graphics and everything, but like okay. very good still. And uh, like an MMO, like okay. kind of like Tower of Fantasy, yeah. but less uh, saturated. But it, but it functions. Yeah, and there's not as much pay to win stuff in it. Okay. So anyway, um, like the beta came out for it, and it was Japanese only beta. I had to download a VPN to. Uh, uh, I'll tell you guys what VPN it is as soon as we get sponsored. <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't do that yet. Uh, right. But yeah, I had to download a VPN and uh, log in from Tokyo. And obviously, the guys that work there saw the fucking stream and they banned me. But what? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's they, crazy. Well, they have to. Yeah, they right? have to. I, I guess like, Jax and other people will do. Yeah, that, right? yeah. They have to ban me, and uh, which was good because I got a video out of that too. Mm -hmm. So it's like it, you know, you get them coming and going. And uh, it was a good game. It actually played very well. I was surprised by it. I'm you mean that? To... Say what? You it played good? Yeah. So you can hold people's hands in the game, like you can. Like the characters. You can emote. You can emote, and you will hold out your hand, and then the other person has like a press F to consent button. They press F, and they hold your fucking hand. I hate that. I like that. And so with me. amazing. And, and so anyway. I go around and I'm trying to hold hands with all these people, <laughs> these girls, <laughs> cat girls. And as soon as I do it, they run away. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was Wait, so is this like funny. NPCs or other players? Other players, of course, no. other players. And like another one, there was like this, uh, this like random girl that was like jumping around, and I'm like typing to her. I'm like, "Will you protect me?" And she's like, doesn't know what the fuck I'm saying because it, she's Japanese. And so I go into Google Translate and I put that over there. And like then she's like looking at me, and after I type it to her, and I start killing things, and she starts helping me kill mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, because it's like people, people over there, they're so polite. And like there was this boar, it was a level twenty boar, and everybody else is like level five. And so I would get the boar, and I would attack it, and then I would make the boar charge me, but I would stand in front of somebody else, so it would kill them. <laughs> and. I was just killing these people over and over and over, and they just had no, like, they just kept letting it happen. I was amazed. You know what that reminds me of? Uh, World of Warcraft. So World of Warcraft base, uh, base game where you would summon, like, the Infernals yeah. in the starting town. Exactly. And they would just wreak havoc. Yeah. Bro, that was so cool. It's great. Like, that's the fun part. That's the fun stuff, right? That's what's enjoyable. So, yeah, I mean, I had a lot of fun playing the game. I think y'all like it. Or, like, uh, what was the other one where you, you challenge them to do a duel as a warlock? And then you target an animal, and then you sh you you chaos bolt it. Something like that. And then you chaos bolt both after the duel, yeah, and you kill them in the game. Bane of Havoc or whatever, yeah, something Dude, like that. So cool. Uh, what class did you play for Blue Protocol? Uh, I played the so I played the the fucking the, with the warrior class. Yeah. And then I was like, oh wow, it's just like a warrior class in most games. It's fucking garbage. <laughs> Wait, so, is it really? Is it? Does it feel good? It did not. And Fuck. then I immediately go and I play the archer. And I'm shooting. My basic attacks are doing more damage than my special attacks were as my warrior. Oh. I can hit anything that I want. You can auto lock on, so you never missed. There's also headshot multiplier damage. I'm just clearing it, and I'm just killing everything super fast when I'm paying attention. It's so much better. Dude, I don't, Insane. Well, every game, range DPS are just superior. Especially for, like, raid mechanics, too. Like, yeah. you just don't have to do as much. You just get to stand back, fire shots, and it's just so much easier. Like, I, I can't even remember... There might be brief moments where melee DPS were better, like statistically, like maybe like you know Fury Warrior had like a, a moment where a lot of. Oh no! I mean they do they do pretty well in raids and stuff, but it's just like quality of life. Yeah. Just in general, overall quality of life. Yeah, but like there's, the, dealing with the mechanics is a range DPS. Yeah. I cannot. Can you think of a boss where it's harder to be a range DPS than a melee DPS? Yeah. Which one? I'm struggling to think. Um. Let me see. Like a hunter versus like a rogue. I'd say Memoron. Memoron. Uh, Memoron's head. All the war. Yeah, you, you understand that, right? Yeah, I totally. I, I totally. Yeah. Is the Memoron the one where he goes, the tantrum one? No, that's XT Deconstructor. Which one was Memoron? Memoron's the one that goes up and flies. Oh, and, and he has the big me. battle robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I didn't do that one. Yeah, I'd say Memoron's harder as range, but it's just yeah. There's a there's some, but like overall, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, are you playing? Are either of y'all playing any MMOs now? Or any games no, I've still been playing League, which reminds oh me, before God. this podcast, oh, Actone no. admitted he's done with League after talking all that shit however, what, two weeks ago. What was that? Can I tell you why? Yes, you can tell so me why. So I decided that jungle was too easy for me because I was climbing very quickly. And you can check my u.gg. Like, I okay. was flying as jungle. 
I swap to top because I just get bored. Okay. I go top and I lose 13 games in a row out of 14. Okay. But the last game was the final straw. Too. Oh, fun fact. I duo queued with Lakari and Lawman, both Diamond Smurfs. Okay. On their Smurf accounts. Okay. And even they said the games that we played together were unwinnable. Okay. So let's keep in mind, I'm in silver. And they said there is no way to win these games at all. And also, Lakar was playing Gwen, his best character. Okay. Dang, you went to some desperate measures. No, it. I did it. No, I did it because they're my friends, not because it I didn't carry me. Okay. So I'm playing this game, and there's this new new, and I'm playing Darius Top versus Timo. And as we all know, once I get level six, I will obliterate that fucking rat. But the first five levels are real rough, and there's this fucking new new, and this Timo is underneath my tower. The whole game. And Nunu never comes. When I ask him to gank, he calls me a slur. And I can't get him to do anything. So then I just decide, fuck it. I'm in a call with six of my friends. And we were talking about Hell's Paradise, which is a great anime. Just came out. I'll look back to that later. I run it down. And for the next 35 minutes... I tell this guy why he is the biggest piece of shit in history. And this demon comes out of me that hasn't existed since I was 18. Okay. And I'll be real. My 18 year old League of Legends all chat logs. I've told a lot of people that, you know, maybe they should play in the streets a little bit too much. Uh-huh. Because that I've never. Oh, my God. I'm getting angry secondhand just from thinking about it. I've never met a, a, a more moronic player in my whole life. And the worst thing is they were, they were streaming it. To two viewers, I'm not even going to say their username, but oh my God, they were acting like I was the problem where everybody else was like, dude, you're an idiot. And this guy just couldn't get it. Then again, the, the people who's watching this probably think that I'm the problem, which I got to be. Yeah, see, the problem is you treat your teammates like they're human. You have to think like they're not human. I just always that's assume hard. that anybody I'm playing with is stupid. And so yeah, like, that's, that's what I mean. I, yeah, whenever I play Overwatch, all I try to do is have a good game. I just try to play well myself, and it, this sounds like such a fucking high road Andy thing, which is like weird for me. Yeah. But like, I actually just try to be like, I played my best, I did my best. They're bad. It is what it is. Yeah, like, no, that's fuck that's true. Yeah, I don't care. I, yeah, because you have no control over like what teammates you get, what they do. You just have yeah, to like, dumb be as like, hell. okay, like it's a part of the game. Like I, I get these NPCs. That are well, bad at it, the game. And sometimes they're good at the game and you'll get carried. But it's like it's out of your control. So like why even type? I just, yeah. Also it's for fun. I it, never, never type at anybody. I type for fun, but I never type to like actually argue. Oh, I wasn't typing to argue. I was typing to make sure this guy left this game. Explain. <laughs> yeah. He is a subhuman piece of shit. Right. Okay. And he got it because the only thing he could do is just say, stop. Stop it. You're going too far. I don't care. Yeah. Okay. And I did that just by explaining the basic fundamentals of the game. I was like, okay, hear me out, Nuno. You know what's really cool? Trying to win the game. What you're doing is not that. Yep. Let me tell you why you were playing like an idiot. No, no name calling, just explaining that he was a dumbass. I just like, whenever I see somebody that's bad, I just don't, I'm like, oh, they're just bad. You know, it's like, yeah. I don't get mad at a dog for not being able to use a calculator. <laughs> it's just, what the hell do you expect? They stupid as hell. Like it's like I've raided in WoW for so long. Like my dad will be driving around and he'll be getting mad constantly that like, oh, somebody's going too slow. Oh, somebody shouldn't be in this lane. They've had their blinker on for the last five minutes, you know, and it's like they're not turning. Like and it's like, of course they are. They're on their phone. They're distracted. They're fucking dumb. They've got like three kids screaming at them in a car. Like, I, I think that after you play a group game like that long enough, you just eventually lose so much hope in people that you can just truly accept them for what they are. Which is? Nothing. So here's the difference. One, I would never ask a dog to use a calculator. Yeah. Two, when a guy comes in and says, yeah, I'm a challenger smurf, just grinding a buddy's account, I'm going to carry the game as Jungle Nuno, uh, just don't feed. Yeah. I expect you to perform. And three, I just believe in people too much. And okay. I think I like people too much. Yeah. You know, I, I truly believe that humanity is good mm -hmm. and that and that the goods of earth, the morality of man outweighs the damage they can well, do. I think it's good until people have a reason to be bad. That's true. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like everybody is going to be doing the good thing until they get paid to do the bad thing. And then the bad thing's not so bad after all. That's true. I mean, that's what I think. The, the reality is, uh, to quote a great movie, D&D, Honor Among Thieves, uh, when you realize that what you desire most has only separated you by about 0.2 inches of glass, you know, you might as well just break it, take the gold and save yourself three years of hard work. So I guess I don't have to see the movie now. So that's pretty much what happened. Well, that's just yeah, a random. I don't quote. get it. That's just a random quote. It was just a, a, a scene where they said, yeah. thievery makes sense when you can just take it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. That's right. But have you, did you see it? No, I haven't seen it. Yet. Did I talk about it last week? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I don't remember that. Honor Among Thieves. I'm not even sponsored. That movie was fucking crazy. Was it? I heard it had really good reviews on wow. Google, like 90 percent plus, like everywhere. Yeah. Holy like, shit. That that shit is in my top ten movies for sure. Wow. Uh, not to say that my movie list is that good. I mainly just watch anime. But like my, my number one movie of all time is Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Okay. I love. Have you seen that? I haven't. People always say I need to watch oh, it, but I, I still haven't seen it. I'll watch that with you anytime. It is All so right. good. It is so rewatchable. But uh, yeah, it, it was like it was like a medieval better Guardians of the Galaxy. The original, not the sequel. Okay. I don't like that one. Uh, but it was just really good. And like the, the, it was obviously very cliche. The ending was predictable, but sometimes I don't think predictable means bad. I don't all. think making something cliche or predictable is bad. I think the best example of that is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yep. It's super predictable. It's very cliche, but it's really good. Yep. It's like as long as the content is good, the story is good, and it's just delivered in a fulfilling way, that's the mm. only thing that like really matters. And now, a word from our sponsors. This light is a turn-based mobile role-playing game set in a future city in which you can collect espers with ancient powers. Build your own Esper squad and stand shoulder to shoulder with players around the world to fight the forces of darkness. In fact, this light just launched two new Espers and twin sisters, Athena and Nyx. Athena is the executive officer of the Dawn Alliance. She is serious and meticulous, known as the disciplinary committee of the Alliance. Nyx is a traveling agent and has a somewhat paranoid personality. There is also a limited time event happening right now during which players can control Athena to explore the labyrinth-like world, discover the mysterious story of what's behind these two characters, and receive generous in-game rewards. And what's even more incredible is that you can get the five-star Hero Nyx for free during the event. So what are you waiting for? Make sure to download the game through the link in the description or the QR code on the screen and use the promo code Dusk and Dawn to get massive rewards. All right, guys, we're back. Sorry, we had to eat a little bit of Wendy's. Uh, anyway, I thought it'd be actually a really good time to talk about the new topic. Uh, Tech Town, you'd probably be interested in this. You see Top G is free? Damn right, it's a damn good day. Is that something? <laughs> Ain't that something? Damn. Wait, so what, what happened? What they, they just... There were no charges, so he's just out, or what well, happened? Well, I think they still don't have enough evidence to, like, really convict him. They don't want him to leave because he's just going to fly away to another country. So they have him on house arrest now. Oh, and it's okay. like, I can only imagine if they don't get him on these charges, Andrew Tate is going to be, like, so much bigger. Because it's going to be like a, a, the the Matrix came at him. Yep. And they missed. <laughs> he you defeated know? the Matrix. The Matrix. Yeah, he beat the Matrix. He actually broke out. He's Neo. Oh, yeah. And then like, so the only thing he posts, the only video he posts afterwards is he just posts a video of himself smoking a cigar, pacing back and forth in his own house with his shirt off. And he's got a big beard. And it looks like, you know, he's been in jail for the past fucking three months. What a badass, man. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I'm excited. It's going to be a lot of new content. Be real. Jokes aside, yeah. I, I legit have. I was not keeping up with the Andrew Tate thing yeah. at all, bro. Just the memes are good. I've been more invested in uh, Charlie and Sneeko drama. Really? Yeah. He pulled out the gun, Sneeko. <laughs> yeah. So Sneeko yeah. goes, and he, he fucking, like, some update thing about Sneeko. It tags me. It says, this pussy-ass bitch. And he's, like, tagging XQC, Hassan, Asmongold, fucking whole voice list. critical. Yeah, like, all of the list of fucking opinion Andes on Twitch. And, and it's, like, I think Destiny on there, too. And... uh 
he's like, he wouldn't even watch my reply video. They only want to see Moist critical side of it. They don't want to see Sneeko's side of it because they know I'm going to break through the matrix or some oh fucking stupid God. shit. And I was like, okay, pussy, like, where's your video? I'll watch your video. And then I'm like, if it's under 20 minutes and someone's like, oh, it's an hour and a half. No way. What? No way. It's just How not worth it. There's, that's a movie. I don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is insane. Yeah. No, nah, that's not worth it. Like for 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 you especially, like what an hour and a half video would last you what two and a half months? Three hours. <laughs> three hour video. <laughs> no, that would oh, be. Yeah. I mean, you know, it would take you way longer than three hours to react to an hour and a half, man. I've seen you react to a two minute video for like forty minutes before. Yeah, I did. Yeah, uh, it was it was that's insanity. Fifty minutes. <laughs> yeah. So Warcraft cinematic. I was really upset. I was holding a lot back, and I just kind of I I had the opportunity to talk about it, and I fucking did. And so, yeah, I mean, I remember I watched the Andrew Tate Piers Morgan interview and it was like three and a half hours. And it's like it was only an hour, like normally. I was just sitting there talking, arguing with chat. I can't remember. Is your reputation in WoW good? No. How is it not good? Because of a lot of reasons. I've never, I, d I never looked into it at all. Isn't like, it because you like complain about the game and a lot of people don't like that? Number one. And then also, uh, so it's like you and Genshin. Basically, yes. every single bad thing you can do in the game. Not only did I do it, but I made a guide on how to do it. Right. Like, and, and so people didn't like that. They weren't, they didn't, they were What's not. What's like, it, like, like shit that like fucks over other players? Oh, yeah, of course. And so, uh, <laughs> I just don't yeah, know like, I haven't played so, really. so for example, like, you know what ninja looting is, right? No. Okay. So it's like, awesome. if, if I. <laughs> <laughs> and so if an item drops and it's like there's one person who's designated to like hand out all the items, right? Oh, yeah. And so guess what happens to the items? And they just okay. don't end up getting handed out. Yeah. So I made a whole video on how to confuse people into thinking that you're not going to do it. <laughs> and, <then> do it. <laughs> and not get in trouble. And I made it's like a half like an hour. It was like a I think it was like 30 minute video or something like that. And I did this. I did another one on like how to be um, an, an elitist. An elitist. Wow, yep. And like how to make fun of people uh, and like how to tell if somebody's a loser or not. And then there's <laughs> other, there's another video where I would make a guide on how to get people killed in the raids. Like, so there's like the super easy mode called Raid Finder. It's like where all the dumb people go. So anyway, I made a video on how to kill people in Raid Finder. So I would play a priest and priests can like grip people towards you or they could then. on oh, life grip. Yeah, life grip. And I would life grip people through things that would kill them. And I would just kill people the whole game and I would just try to ruin it as much as possible. Oh, wait, is it life grip or leap of, leap of faith? Uh, I think that, I, I don't know. That's one of the two. I can't yeah. I think there's there's rescue also now too with another one. Yeah, uh, with the dragon one. Now, how do people see those videos and get angry at them? Well, because they're they they. It's griefing. Yeah, it's just griefing. Yeah, yeah. but it's funny. Yeah, it is funny. It's really funny. Well, I it's, don't get it's it. not. They take it seriously. So. Oh, they take funny. it very seriously. Like, I thought that you took WoW pretty seriously. Oh well, yeah, like five years ago. Oh, okay. But it's like I mean that that's like the same. And like even then, whenever whenever I took it seriously, in a lot of ways, it was even worse because then. Like now, at least I'm playing pretty casually. So, you know, I'm kind of like them. But like then I was like the elitist raider living in mom's basement stereotype. And like the worst part about it was I never said sorry. I was like, yeah, this is who I am. I'm fucking an asshole. And this is what I do. And I love it. And I'm better at you. Than I'm better, <laughs> better than you at it. And uh, it was so much fun. But yeah, eventually. I, I can't imagine people unironically getting angry at that. that they just... were so mad. Like because they thought that... um. Like they thought that some of it was real and like a lot of it was jokes. Like for example, I um I made a video how to get a girlfriend in World of Warcraft and I released it on Valentine's Day. And like one of the jokes there that I used was that they had a mount. They changed the mount after the sexual harassment lawsuit. Is it Love Rocket? Yeah, it was called the Big Love Rocket. Yep. And it's exactly what it sounds like. And I said Blizzard knows their audience because it's only a one seater mount. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and people got mad about this yeah. and, and they're getting upset and uh et cetera. like i was telling like like there's like two player mounts and i would say that oh well you should have like your crush in the game ride on the rocket ship because of the uh you know the implication of it rather than the other mount and it's just like little stupid things like this and it just built up over time and now i'm like the worst one <laughs> yeah so basically blizzard officially blizzard i can say this now neither of these guys work at the company anymore so they invited me s fand soda 
and Nick out to dinner. And we had a great time. I, I, I like both of the guys. But they went and they said to me, and they pointed at Soda, and they said, you used to be the bad one. And then they point at me, and they say, now you're the bad one. <laughs> yeah. That's so sick. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know what I was. Straight up. When I was, uh, when I was you know, 13, 14, yeah. I, I think uh, there was a mount called the Mechano Hog. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is. And I would get that. It was my favorite mount. Because I would get the the girls in Ventrilo. Oh yeah, you get them to ride ride yeah, around. Hop in my hog. Yeah. And bro, my heart would flutter knowing that yeah. I had a girl and my and my mechanical chopper, bro. And she was the healer. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> female healers back in the day. Oh yeah, it was a big deal. I was in love, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, she healed me. Were they usually girls? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I mean, it's not really usually. It's just like, yeah, a lot of healers were girls. It was a lot were a stereotype, but yeah. like, or at least the ones that I played with were chicks. Yeah. Okay. And now, now they were all girls, but they didn't always look like how they showed you they looked. I found out the hard way one of that one I time. You that thought too. they looked like their avatars in real life? No, no, no. Like they sent me yeah, like I a did. they sent me a photo of themselves, and then I met them in real life, and that they did not look like that photo. Did they look uh, anything like it? No, they they told me they were eighteen, then their ass was thirty. Okay, that's it was a dude. And wait, wait, no, it was a chick. Can you talk about this? I like did. you were like I seventeen did. or eighteen, yep. and this woman online said she was eighteen and she was thirty and tried yep. to meet up with you. That is fucking weird. Yep, that shit was weird. So wait, really? so w- were the pictures like her when she was younger? Or was it just no, some other? It was just some girl? just some emo chick. And she knew I liked emo chicks. Dude, when oh my god, when I was yep. around that age and posting pictures, people would use my pictures to catfish. There was this guy, yep. this man in Australia, who messaged me. He's like, I know this like wasn't you. And nothing will happen. I just have to get this off my chest so I can move on. I dated you for three years. Like That's someone crazy. used my pictures, and they're like, "Yeah, like I know nothing's gonna happen. Like I don't actually know you. I just have to like get it off my chest so I can move on." And I was just like, "Nice. I'm sorry." Like that is so weird. Yep. Oh my god. I think that's happened to like a lot of girls where like their <sighs> pictures will be used in some nefarious way. Oh, people would, would also, um, when I was a smaller streamer, like three to 500 viewers, people would uh, use my pictures in my name because then they could like find my Twitch and be like, oh, this is a real person. They would use my pictures and name to scam CSGO skins. How much money did they get? I, I there's a, There was this one account that I got a lot of messages on Instagram from that where they were like, oh, hey, like fun playing with you the other day. Hope you enjoy the knife skin. And I think it was like thousands of dollars. Did of you ask them for like a scanned. cut or... No, I, I never, Did like... Try and shut him down? I don't know. I just kind of just, like, looked at it, and I was like, nothing I can do. Oh, I'm just man. like... You want me to tell you the secret to getting girls what? on World of Warcraft What's back that? in my day? So there's one place where you can hold people captive where you have to, <laughs> right? Yeah. And that place... Uh, you remember the Time Lost Proto Drake? Yeah. So you go there, and you say, well, you know, it's, uh, it can be anywhere between 16 and 72 hours. Yep, that's right. And you just have to sit there. <laughs> and it's just you and them, them and you, and then you just get to talking. We've had, there was this that's one the girl, day spot. You think, you, like, I've had some, oh, man. So, <laughs> this one girl, uh-huh. I was in a guild. It was a very, very serious, elitist, raid-every-night guild. And we, they were doing the hardest dungeon at the time, Heroic Shattered Halls in Burning Crusade. Oh, yeah. And these guys got to talking to each other. It was her healing, and there were four other guys. And they got to talking, and somehow between them, they realized that she was cybering or sexting with all four of them <laughs> at the same time while healing them in the dungeon. Like, this girl had her tendrils around half of the people in the guild. Oh, my God. It was fucking, like, it, and, like, the Dude, thing that's is, it was... crazy APM, though. I know. That's, true. that's, that's It was true. fucking nuts. And so she was, like, posting fake pictures of herself on the guild website. It was, like, a whole thing, man. Like, I'm telling you, like, I, I could probably go on for an hour, the story about this girl. It was the craziest one we had had. They were always healers, man. Yep, they were. Yep, she was a, a paladin healer. Yep. And did, you, did you call them a different term back in the day, too? Uh, what? You ever called them heal slots? No. Really? You never heard about that? No. Have I you ever heard of a heal slot? I have, but I thought that yeah. was like a, like a fetish thing. I know, well, yeah, we never actually even called her that at all. Like, usually, 
I, I mean, I'm pretty sure they'd just call anybody that. No, yeah, I, I would, would call it a really bad guild. <laughs> yeah, I would call myself a heel slut too. Whenever yeah, I played a resto druid. No, we never, we never actually even yeah. used that term. Uh, but uh, yeah, we used a lot of other. <laughs> we used a lot of terms that were worse. Like what? So, oh, I don't know. I, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> But yeah, it was a it was a crazy time, especially like now you see like guys. I can only imagine the amount of guys out there. It must be so easy to catfish people now. Oh, yeah. it must be a joke because you can literally make like an AI character and I'll see these AI people and I'll, I'll go down and they'll be like, wow, you know, it's crazy. Technology can do so much. Five comments below that. I love you. Please come to Turkey. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Like I have a farm and a horse. Yeah. <laughs> Please. That's all you need. <laughs> Come to Kazakhstan. <laughs> and they have no idea. It's just so crazy. And I think it's going to get so much better too. And uh, I'm I'm excited. I'm all there for it. People should be more discerning on the internet. They shouldn't believe everything they see. You know what else is uh, really going to take things to a new level? What's that? OTK's new show, Elevated. Oh, yeah. You hear about that? So... Basically, what we have to do is we have to pick a streamer that's really good at something that we do. So, Tectone, maybe you can play Genshin Impact. I'm sure you all love that. Yeah. Please Super don't. Fun. Emmy, do you know what you're going to do? Um, I don't know, but they were... T I mean, I don't... I used to do a bit of art, but they were saying since, like, I do cosplay, like, they might give me, like, you know, some art streamers to look at. Like, I'm not, okay. like, super in tune with, like like artsy stuff as much but i feel like i could do that or like they were talking about gaming stuff i don't know we'll we'll see okay i'm gonna basically have i was thinking of having like four different people react to the same video <laughs> and i'm gonna see who does the best reaction That's and great. then i also That's thought it. the second the second uh test is going to be uh how long you can go on talking about something without pausing or making any sort of a you know like a fucking it up basically yeah. right saying anything that's like wrong or off off focus or anything like that like how long can you stall for i think i'll probably do uh because I'm, I'm a farmer i'm a big yeah. emote farmer so i'll probably see uh who can farm the most emotes like okay. a emote emote per minute and then uh tell the best fake story okay best you know? fake story that's yeah. good maybe that's i'll fun. do like art challenges or something <laughs> like drawing prompts I'm starting, I'm starting to do hybrid know. stories I uh, start off almost every stream now with like a 50 minute to an hour and a half story that just never fucking happened. Yeah. Because people Why would you admit that it's fake? No, because everybody says my real stories are fake anyways. So yeah. I just don't care. I told a story about how I saved orphans from a burning building in the middle of OTK game day. And that's why we lost the last two rounds because yep. my back was hurt by the rubble because it hit my spine. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. I mean, shit, if they're liking it, they're liking it. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, they loved it. No, I, I think that, yeah, reacting to a video, I'm just deciding what the video is going to be. I'm thinking about maybe have like a couple of videos and like have one be like super fucking edgy and another one be like really like kind of milk toast, like not not really any sort of like, you know, bad controversial stuff and see like who gets uncomfortable and who doesn't, you know, really, really make things exciting. There you go. Yeah. I, I learned something about myself where, like, you know when people give, like, advice or, like, feedback about, like, you should do this or you should do that. Or, like, oh, I don't really like this about you. I don't really like yeah, that. Yeah, that's the worst. And then what I do is, for some reason, I'm just a double downer. You know, somebody says you're being too loud. I just get louder. Right, yeah. Someone says, we don't like when you do that. I just do it more. And I feel right. like it's just, like, not a good habit. But... I do the same thing. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I do. Uh, if somebody doesn't like it, I'll be like, well, that's too bad. I'm going to do it more now. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't like you and I want to make you unhappy. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, oh, it's great. It's got to work out. It's got to be. It's got to be a good long term plan. I've got to say also, um, you know, there's another thing I want to talk about. E3. E3 got canceled. Yeah. What happened? What happened there? So basically, this is what I think happened is that. Oh, they never like. Said Wait, just why? just to clarify, E3 is just the bootleg OTK game expo, right? Uh, yeah. yeah okay. All right. Cool. I mean, like. E3 was like the biggest thing. Like I remember back whenever Halo 2 I think was announced or something like that in E3 back in 2004, 3000 years ago. Uh it was fucking insane. E3 was the gold standard. Everybody was into E3. E3 was like the gaming event of the year. But like now I think what happened is like not only are like there's a lot more people that are just doing their own events like Nintendo Direct, State of Play, xbox whatever the fuck by the way nintendo direct sucks it is 90 percent ads to one reveal 
But the the Legend of Zelda one they did was really good. You like that one? Absolutely. Let me tell you why I hated that one. Okay. So they they showed the new Tears of Themis. Yeah. Or Tears of Kingdom, whatever one it's called. Of the whatever the fuck. Yeah, Tears but of something. Breath of the Wild too. Yeah, that one. Seems like they copied a lot from Genshin Impact. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, good one, dude. So they had a uh, Pokemon Violet and Scarlet where you just fall to the ground all the time. Uh, and so now in Tears of Kingdom, they just made it a feature. Yeah. Where you can just, uh, you know, use an ability and just clip through everything because the reality is the code is probably too bad to actually have a stable game. Anyways, I am so angry that the Nintendo Switch is the game that Tears of Kingdom was released on because I just feel like Breath of the Wild was revolutionary when it came out, and Tears of Kingdom is going to come out, and it's probably not going to feel that good because it should be a, it should have been a next gen title, and I am so angry that it's released on current Switch because the, the Switch currently is so bad, it is it just underperforms and it's heartbreaking because every recent title is just it's just not as good, and the, the PS5 and the Xbox are getting ahead of it, and the Switch used to be my favorite console, but now it just feels underwhelming and the game honestly looked horrible. When did the Switch come out? It's been out for a long time, hasn't it? Well, the, the that's Switch. the wrong opinion. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so basically, yep. what is the difference between an Xbox and a computer? Uh, the computer's always better and can be updated. What's the difference between a PlayStation and a computer? The PlayStation... Go ahead. It's the same thing, huh? Yeah, it's the same thing. What's the difference between a Switch and a computer? Yes. Bring the Switch in. Oh, the Switch has exclusive titles. So does PlayStation. Oh, okay, well, not as many. I would say this. I would say the Nintendo has yeah. the most exclusive titles. It probably does. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I I think that Nintendo. Here's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Nintendo. Every single fucking console is innovative. Like they innovated. The NES was the first like big like box console to like really sell well. Yeah. Like in any sort of like real market. I guess there was kind of the Atari, but like NES was like that much bigger. Super Nintendo was fucking massive. Nintendo 64, mm -hmm. first 64 bit system. GameCube. They had little discs, okay? That was not crazy. A lot of, I love the GameCube. Yeah, not a lot of innovation there. But, like, look at the Wii. They completely changed everything the Wii. Mm -hmm. yep. They got tons of new people into playing games. My dad was wanting to get a Wii so he could do, like, Wii Fit and, like, Wii Sports. First time that video games appealed to an audience of people that weren't just, like, video gamers. Then after that, you had the Wii U. This is a portable console, the first actual AAA yep. portable console. You forgot, Amazing. like, the, the DS and stuff. And you had the Nintendo yeah, DS. Well, yes. Not only that, you had the Game Boy. Yep. And yeah, then Game the Boy. Game Boy was insane. And then before the Game Boy, you had the, the Game Boy Advance, which was the first time. Well, actually, no, there was the yeah. Game Boy SP yeah. and the Game Boy Advance SP, and it was flippable. It was just like a flip phone, and you could do that. Then you had the Game Boy DS, and that was the one with the two screens. One of them was a touchscreen. It was fucking nuts, and you could play Wi-Fi with people. I remember I played with this one girl whenever we were like in high school, and we could do that. That was a million years ago. Like, Nintendo is the only... They are the only people that I think are actually innovating with making consoles and make consoles an actual value add. Because every time I'm buying a PlayStation, the only reason I'm buying it is so I can play some exclusive bullshit title on it. But whenever I buy a Nintendo console, I'm getting something new. I'm a massive fucking Nintendo simp, and I'm not sorry. No, I mean, don't, don't be wrong. I am as well. I yes. just think Tears of Kingdom belonged on a future, like this... With with future gen like 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 like, like new graphics. Well, they're gonna keep making Zelda games for like well, probably forever. <sighs> okay, yes, listen, I I get it because I was gonna make an example about how there was like Link's Awakening and then Link's Awakening you go to Ocarina of Time completely changed the game right and then I was gonna say how like you know Ocarina of Time was on like Skyward Sword and then Skyward Sword there was like Breath of the Wild completely open world but then I realized Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask are pretty much the same thing. They are. Except for Majora's Mask. Well, Majora's Mask had a lot of nuances to it. Yeah, the and time mechanic. It was, yeah, it was a lot different, but like I, I wasn't really a big fan of Majora's Mask personally. I, I loved Ocarina that time. No, I didn't like feeling like I was on a timer. But you think yeah, about, I hated that. Yeah, how much innovation. It's like Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, my favorite Zelda game. It was so fucking insanely good. Yeah. And then Ocarina of Time was, again, insanely fucking good. Yeah. And then also Wind Waker was one of the first cell shaded never, games. Never played it. Well, I, I, I love Wind Waker. I fucking hated that game. Oh, because oh. I loved it. Well, I, I it's a great game, but I hated it because like I thought Legend of Zelda. I'm thinking like fucking Frank Frazetta. You're fighting like on the top of a fucking temple, a giant man bear pig who's like using Yo. fireballs. Like people are dead. There's skeletons everywhere. I'm thinking like this is the most brutal shit ever. And then Link comes out and it's a fucking cartoon. Yeah. What 
the fuck is that? What is this? Well, then they made Twilight yeah. Princess. Yes, exactly. As an apology. <laughs> no, but the Koroks. Did you like the Koroks? That yeah, papa. Look, I, I will like play. I, They're so cute. I want to go through and I want to play every single Legend of Zelda game. Yeah. I, I'm going to play because I stopped playing Legend of Zelda games after um, Wind Waker. And I only played Four Swords after that. because Oh, you should have played Twilight Princess. That one was so good. And also well. the new Link's Awakening. Uh, Link's, Link's, Link's Awakening is my favorite game. Uh, then it goes to Ocarina of Time. Link's, I, Link's I Awakening. Had, the I, remake is amazing. I had the original one on yeah. it, The original Game Boy. But I'm just saying, like, I wanted to feel the same feeling that I felt from Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. And I just don't feel like I'm going to get that with Tears of Kingdom. that anyway because you already played Breath of the Wild. Well, that's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. I, want, I want the new one to feel like a new experience, like the, like the same, like, wow, this is going to blow me away. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much Breath of the Wild, but now you get to uh, build shit and clip through walls. Well, it's badass, though. Like, so, Emmy, you can get, like, a stick, and then stick. you can put a rock on the stick. And rock make a rock the, stick. And you can have, a, a like, a tree. No, no, no. Uh, let me think. What's something besides a rock and a stick? A fan. A fan. You can put a fan on top of the rock. On top of the rock, mm -hmm. on top of the stick. And then you can use another leaves on top of the fan, and then you can fly around with it. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you, like this is probably an exaggeration, but something like that. You know who else thought that was a really good idea? What's that? Remember Banjo-Kazooie? I didn't play that game. So Rare also thought Banjo-Kazooie would be even better if you could build shit. Yeah. And then uh, there's a game out called Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, where it is Banjo-Kazooie. Uh-huh. Uh, only now it's involved with Legos and is one of the worst video games of all time. I'm not saying that's going to happen with Build, uh, Legend of Zelda, Tears of Kingdom, but I just don't really get why I needed that. I'm just happy that Nintendo is continuing to develop great games for their old IPs. Pikmin True. is getting new games. Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. You know what you get as a Halo fan? You get fucked. <laughs> yeah. you get fucked over and over and over. And it's been happening for 10 years. Yep. Even the old games that they brought back out again in the Master Chief Collection, guess what? It was fucked too. And it's just insane. How is this possible that it happens? And Nintendo is the only, the only console, I would say, that has really continued to develop and bring back their old titles and maintain them. Now, well, there are maybe a couple of exceptions. Like Pokemon. Pokemon, yes, I would say, yeah, obviously the recent one is not great, but yeah. overall, I think they've done a good job with Pokemon. Yeah. Overall. And, like, you've got Pikmin. You've got, there are new Mario games that are coming out. I feel like the Mario ones for, like, Mario parties are kind of shit, the newer ones. Yeah. I feel like, like, the old ones, I mean, you know, the old Mario, yeah, no, nobody I mean, plays the new Mario parties. They just make the new ones as, like, refreshers, I think. Like, they're, as, not, they're not really meant to be, like... I don't know. And and the new tennis, the new golf, the new strikers are all bad. The old ones are better. Like, uh, dude, old Mario tennis is insane. Old Mario strikers is insane. Like, they're, they're definitely they're definitely trying. Uh, but there are, there are a couple of hits. Like, Legend of Zelda games are usually pretty good. Yeah, Pikmin's are always pretty good. Although I'll admit, the new characters look goofy as shit in Pikmin Four. Like, I'm a big Olimar guy. Even the Pikmin Three guys were weird as fuck. Yeah, I mean, Ralph was cool, but the other two looked dumb. I'm gonna uh, go back and play all this. Like I was the first game I got for my GameCube was Pikmin. Mine was uh, good. mine was Melee. Oh really? Which was awesome. That was a good game. I, mean, I lived in Woodstock, Virginia, and yeah. I was walking up and down the hill, and I was like, "Oh my God, we're gonna save all me and my all my brothers. We're gonna yeah. save all of our money, and we're gonna buy Melee, and we got it. And we we didn't think it would possibly live up to our expectations, and it did. It and, it is still a good game. And dude, when you when you left the console on for like a yeah. week straight, and then you unlock Mewtwo, I about shit. Because my entire life and my childhood, <clears throat> I was deceived by Nintendo fans right. where they said, oh, yeah, so if you surf behind the SSN, there's a Mew underneath the garbage truck. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was no fucking that. Mew back there. Yep. Fucking liars. But then the Mewtwo coming up, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, and Splatoon. Splatoon still slaps, too. I still haven't played that. That's like that's I a damn good game. game. That's that's like the VTuber game. It's just like, I guess the only thing, like, I guess PlayStation, they have Final Fantasy. Y'all yep. see about Final Fantasy 16? Yep. <laughs> oh, my God, Emmy. You got to pay attention to these fucking games. This game looks badass. You ever played Devil May Cry? Yeah. Okay. It's like it that. Sick. They hired the dude that did combat for Devil May Cry, and they have in Final Fantasy 16. Did you, did you like Devil May Cry? I was 14 when Devil May Cry 3 came out. Yeah. Do you honestly think that I didn't think Dante was the coolest dude ever? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he definitely did. <laughs> he was the fucking coolest guy, man. He was so badass. Dude, I tried, yeah. I tried to play, I think it was 5, the one with the, the emo guy. 
who has like the cane and he summons like the dark guys. You know what I'm talking about? Nero, I think his name is. Oh, Nero. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That game was dog shit. Really? Yeah, I, I did not enjoy it at all. The, the writing was so bad. And there was only one cool guy that I liked. I think his name was Virgil. Yeah, it was uh, Dante's brother. Yeah, and he was awesome. But then like he went away and I played that shit for like three and a half, four hours. And it had all these moves and like I yeah. just... I'm not a guy. I'm not a combo guy. I don't play Tekken. Are you sure you didn't just get old? <laughs> I might have got old, uh, man. You know. I might have got old. Oh, I play Fortnite all the time, though, man. I'm hip. You know, uh -huh. I, play, I go on Roblox. Uh huh. Just like, just like the kids. You play Roblox. Yeah, I play Roblox. What What do you play on Roblox? There's this game called Doors. Doors. And the entire objective is get through a hundred doors. But it's like jump scare and like horror. Dude, Roblox has some low key good games. Unironically, no, they do. Yeah, they have uh, they have a uh, Doors, which is a, a super fun horror game for first timers. They have uh, Squid Games. They have Hunger Games. They have some good shooters. It's really not that bad. It's yeah. just like they're just like bad games. And the best part is you get to bully little kids. And that's <laughs> the best part, you know. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey there, Steak and Eggs listeners. Techtone here, and let me tell you, if you're in the market for some new clothes, you gotta check out otknetwork.com. Our apparel is so good. We've got everything from cozy hoodies to sleek crewnecks to snug joggers, and let me tell you, these joggers are the real deal. I wear them all the time, and they're made with high-quality materials that are built to last. But here's the best part. Use the code STEAK at the checkout for a sweet 15% off your order. That's right. Just type in steak at checkout and watch the savings pile up. So don't wait. Get yourself some fresh new clothes from otknetwork.com. I'm, I'm, I'm a big advocate for bullying children online. Yeah, uh, true. So that way they give up on their dreams well, becoming it's a professional more that, player. Like, I think that there is no better experience. That, like I used to be a loud, obnoxious, annoying kid yep. until I got checked. Yep. Online, and people are like, you need to stop this or we're going to kick you out of the guild. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yep. Am I am I actually a little bitch? I think I'm being a little bitch now. <laughs> and you know what? I stopped being a little bitch and I didn't get beat up. I didn't lose my job. I didn't lose my friend group. It was just an awkward rest of the old war. And that was it. Yep. And then after that, I'm like, I'm not going to act like this anymore. I'm going to grow the fuck up. And it is so good. I, I think it's great for that to happen. Yep. I mean, everybody thinks they're yeah. good at Fortnite when they're 12 until they fired a 28-year-old who has depression. That's all they really do every Dude, day. Something in and Fortnite, though, them. when you start playing, they put you in lobbies where everyone's not a real person. Yeah, it's I think all bots. it's the first three games. But why? Uh, because that way, so it's the is same it to thing. like make people be like, oh damn, I'm sick of this game. And yeah. Like, yeah, they make hooked. you think that you're good, and then you want to chase that feeling to get the serotonin, and the the feeling that you're not a loser anymore. So you grind, you grind, and grind, and try to get that initial enjoyment. Uh, but you never get it. But you still mm -hmm. play and try to get better. Mm -hmm. Oh, I I love playing Fortnite. Whenever they added the tank, I would just try to kill people with the tank. Yeah, right. Yeah, I would just ride around like this is. It's honestly such a good game. Everybody memes it is. Fortnite and they say how bad. Oh, Fortnite's so bad. No, it's fucking not. It's one of the best games ever made. It is. What are you talking about? Yeah, they actually listen to their community. They add updates all the time. Yep. yep. Like I said, it is good. And, and the best thing about Fortnite is you can play it, suck balls, and mm -hmm. still have fun. Because you can ride around on pigs. You can emote. You can play as low-tier god. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, they, have yeah a, they put low tier. What? Yeah, there's this skin that has like, you ever seen the low tier god now? The meme? thunder thing? Yeah, they have a guy with like lightning eyes who looks just like low tier god. <laughs> it is so funny. <laughs> Uh, I I love Fortnite, man. The emotes are the best part. I love I love beating up little kids. They're like sweating super hard, and then I do like the L dance and like the donkey laugh on them, yeah. bro. It's so funny. That, that one. Oh yeah. There's, there's, <laughs> yeah. Is this supposed to be someone else or they? It, it is supposed to be somebody else. But the lightning eyes just make it look just like there's low tier no god. No way, that's not low tier god. <laughs> who, know, who, who is right? that man? Who is? I, that? I have no. He's like a superhero. Superhero. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. It's so funny. I want that skin so bad. Zoyle has it. Yeah. That's how I found out about it. I, maybe I should go back and play it. I've been playing this old new this new old game. It's called Remnant. Have either of y'all played that? Remnant. Of, Remnant of the Ash. All, yeah, of the Ashes. Yeah. It's so good. It's actually such a good game. And like usually, like the problem is like I played the game on hard mode, and there's four difficulties. Hard mode's the second difficulty, and I couldn't beat it. 
And so obviously I put it on even harder mode and I'm like, okay, fine. I'm going to beat my fucking head against this for like three hours. And I'm fighting these bosses that are just like, if you get hit once, you're fucking dead. There's three mobs. You can't kill them. They'll respawn. And you have to fight the boss who teleports. The boss is black. The room's black. It's a dark room. Yep. Fuck you. And it's like, there you go. And I sat there for hours and I fucking played through that. And I beat his ass. His name was Shroud, too. It was ironic because the fucking guy that shoots you. <laughs> no, Remnant is really sick, good. but it, it is so good. It is hard as fuck. It was good, though. Like, that's Did you the beat thing. the whole thing? Not yet. Oh, okay. I will. And uh, yeah, I'm going to beat the whole thing on the hardest mode. It was really fun. Y'all should play it. Dude, if you ever want to play Fortnite, yeah. I'm your guy, man. You think I, so? I fucking love it. And for some reason, I'm actually nasty at it. Yeah. I actually did a, a Ludwig tournament uh -huh. uh, where they said I was too good. And they had to nerf my team. So pretty much what it was is, is you're supposed to take one player who's like, okay, uh, a yeah, second player it. who's like really good and a third player who's like a pro, right? <clears throat> and I was in the uh, the bad player category, right? And the guy who was supposed to be better than me actually blew. And yeah. they said I was too good. Right. They removed the better guy from my team and removed and, and replaced it because the first game we got 24 kills Yeah. Um, out of the 60 people. Uh, and they replaced it with a literal mod from their channel who had never played. And so we went from getting 24 kills uh, in the first game uh, to getting like three over the next three rounds because we got so hard nerfed because, you know, 3v2s are super hard. Jesus Christ. But it was awesome, bro. And ever since then, I just go back and I play Fortnite and I love that game so much. The new sword is so sick. You like you take a sword and you slash and you fly like halfway across the map. Okay, and that's cool. they do this other thing where they summon Loot Island. And if you go to Loot Island, it gives you like these OP, like best gear in the game. Yeah. So like at every game, there's like this massive brawl, kind of like school was in PUBG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was sick. I don't know. Were you a school dropper or no? Oh yes. Yeah. It was awesome. Dude, new Fortnite is so good. You I gotta play game. Valorant. You gotta try it. Have you not played Valorant before? Wait, did you play CSGO? No, I don't play either. Oh, never? Oh. Yeah, I mean... I, I I didn't really either, but I like Valorant. Valorant's good. I actually like the game. It's, it's a good game. I just get so intimidated, right? Because I know... You know why I don't want to play Valorant? Because I know my friends are going to be mean to me when I play Valorant. I just yeah. know. It. I have That's to accept the fun. It. I, don't I don't like that. I just like being nice to each other. You play League with your friends. And I'm nice. What? Yeah. But the problem is, is that like... Well, if I play Valorant with Miss Gift, you know he's going to be mean to me. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, then play play with your friends that are like only nice to each other. But they don't play Valo. They just play League, mm -hmm. and we just goof around. You know, I just go Mundo on every roll. Mundo eighty carry. It's sick. I might start playing Valorant more. I I think so. After I play a few more of these games, I might just go back and start playing more Valorant because it's like that's the game that everybody plays. It is, like, yeah. Yeah, it's like the game. Right I now. never like I don't play any of these other pop. Like I don't really play League. Yeah, sometimes I play Fortnite, but like most people don't really play Fortnite unless they're kids or some shit. So it's like I didn't play Among Us. So I feel like I've been left out for like such a long time for like playing the popular game. It's sad. I just Valorant, dude, it's just so sweaty, man. You know, like I mean, like, like imagine this, like the other OTK game night, everybody called me a sweat because I was playing Mundo, even though I was intentionally feeding. And I went first time Scion mid. Well, you were being a sweat. You were doing cheese tactics, but we're not going to talk about that because we'll be here for like two hours arguing. I saw y'all got mad at each other about that game, huh? No, it wasn't at each other. It was everybody was mad at me. That's, <laughs> there's a big difference. Really? Yeah, because I first timed a character called Scion, and his uh -huh. entire gimmick is the split push. And I split push a Scion. And then nobody in the chat knows how to play league. Uh, Emmy was the only actual player on the other team who knew how to play league. Yeah. And then thankfully, Lucari came into the call and had my back. And Vebe. You know, mm -hmm. some reasonable people. But it's like, dude, I literally just played Scion the way it was supposed to be played. There's no other way to play Scion. At least for the build that I went, which was the Ohm Wrecker. The way so that why do they hate you then? Because it's me. Oh, Listen, okay. here's the reality. I could, I could save children from a burning orphanage. Uh -huh. uh, and people would say, wow, you sure wasted a lot of water. Yeah. Right? Or like, I could, I could donate $500,000 to like a earthquake uh, charity uh -huh. and people would say well, yeah but you probably caused the earthquakes anyways <laughs> okay there's, so. a, there's a lot of context missing here that's all i'm gonna say asman there's okay. a lot of context the, missing here i mean you he can, did he put he played the character how it's played and ranked but he knew it would be annoying let's just say that okay so he tried to be as annoying he as tried possible. to be annoying and it worked here's and what now happened he's actually. like why are you I, saying i was annoying so I, my team <laughs> wanted to know where they could go yeah. And I said, y'all play whatever role you want. I will fill no matter what. And I said, mid is my weakest line. I've never played it. 
And they said, okay, well, here's the problem. You have to play mid. And then they say, who do you play mid? And I say, I play nobody. Mm-hmm. And then I think it was Strippin says, why don't you just play Scion, bro? Mm-hmm. And I say, okay, how do you play him? And then I just built a, a, a big stick. Can't remember what it's called. There's like a big stick that makes it where you can't group up with your team anymore. Yeah. What's it called? I don't know. There's a weapon that, that makes it to where you can't group with your teammates. I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember the name. Yeah. I have no fucking idea. Yeah, and I it. built that, and then I just split push the whole game. That's it. I just, like, I, I, I'm t- I've waited for 10 years for MOBAs to die. I hope they never die. I've waited, I, and it's like, I never got into them. I played Heroes of the Storm for just a little bit, never played Dota, never played League, and I just can't fucking get away from it and i thought that we were moving away for it like finally we had PUBG. remember whenever PUBG came out awesome that was so good it was in the game did y'all play the PUBG on release yep i did yep. literal trash fucking garbage and it was game. awesome and i played it every night <laughs> yes i did every single night never saw i would wake up at five in the morning to play yep. with my friends that played all night long before i would start my stream at eight in the morning yep and it was so, so good. Six, I love that game. 6,000 hours on PUBG is what I got. Oh, my fucking God. I, I love that game. That was, that was my peak degeneracy. Yeah. That was, I had PUBG when I had nothing else in life. Right. It was like, wake up, 16 hours of PUBG, go to sleep. Wake up, 16 hours. PUBG, cigarettes, full throttle. That's it. Cigarettes? Oh, yep. Dude, dude I, used to, I used to smoke a pack and a half a day. That's nuts. Do you know how good I was at video games? Probably pretty good. It was, dude, my heartbeat was like, like 140 resting. <laughs> like I was, I was in the zone, bro. That's yeah. healthy. <laughs> Dialed in. Yeah, and the best thing was, I lived with the two buddies who, like, I played with. Yeah. Right. So, like, we'd play a game, go out, smoke, and like the the talks you have. Right. This, yeah. this is the worst thing. Why cigarette kicking is so hard is because the conversations you have when it's just you and another guy, and you're smoking a cigarette in the middle of winter in a snowstorm or anywhere, they're just so good. I don't, I don't know what it is about smoke talk. That's the only thing that I miss is that I used to go out and it, it still happens. That if I were to go yeah. smoke, I would have a great conversation with a stranger. Right. Because it's just you. You know you're both there. You might as well talk and it's awesome. But I have no reason to just go outside and sit there. But I don't know. That's, that's the only thing. You can have, people who smoke know about that shit. The smoke talks are crazy. Anytime that somebody tries to talk to me in public, I usually try to end the conversation as fast as possible. I, I I'm not a talker in public. I'm really not. Same. I love meeting new people. Have you ever had like a time where there was a crazy person in in an area that you were in and you would try desperately not to make eye contact with them? Oh yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah, like that's kind of the way that I look at everybody. Oh fuck. Yeah, I try not to. I try not because then then somebody will come up, they'll be talking to me, they'll ask me a bunch of questions. Then it's like, oh my god, like what is this? I'm just here to get a shirt, you know. That's yeah. it. I mean, I yeah. I love. I'm talk- very antisocial. I love talking to people who don't know who I am at all, right? Like like the like yeah. people in public. Like, I love that. Like it's there's a different experience when you talk to somebody who's like a viewer who's who's heard of your name. Yeah. Because the, the, there's always this feeling of okay, this person can get something from me or think they can get something from me, and that they're, they're overly it's nice. The opposite, because like I I some of my viewers work at Chipotle. They give me extra food sometimes. That's true. Yeah. That's awesome. But just like talking to a random person and about like just a random day to day life, like, oh, I worked my nine to five. Boss was kind of a dick yeah. today. Pretty tired. Probably going to go home and watch Seinfeld. Right. Yeah. You know, I love that. Or like, oh, and dude, and my wife made uh, spaghetti tacos. Spaghetti tacos. Oof. Yeah. You ever heard of that? No. Oh, they're, they're pretty bussing. I never had any of that stuff. But do you use do you use words like that? Bussing? Uh, yeah. Sometimes. Uh, I'll- you say bussing? Yeah. I, mean, I cannot I, think that at all. Well, I, I would say it ironically. Like, I don't know if I'd ever really say it like super seriously, but yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'd but, say it as a joke. You, but you ever, you, you do it ironically for so long that it, it just becomes real. ingrained. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like use, use bussing in a sentence. Yeah. What you want me to? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. Blue Protocol is bussing. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's yeah, I played that shit. Yeah, Diablo Four, that should be busting. That shit is busting, yeah. bro. <laughs> on a cap, but <laughs> we're not oh, on a stack. No cap. There it is. Yeah, well, see, uh, I didn't well, get it right. Can, I, I no cap on a stack for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy, bro. Oh no, I, I, I don't really mind it. That kind of stuff. Like, I think it's funny. Like, I have friends of mine that are like normies, and so I think they will get moderately annoyed at me whenever I use internet terms like that. Yeah. Because it's like, this is a 30 year old man who has a mortgage on his house. <laughs> and I just said that, you know, fucking Taco Bell was bussing. Yeah. 
I love it. Like, you should fucking stop. <laughs> just stop this. You need to grow up. So, so we're about an hour and ten minutes in this episode. Uh-huh. Can I just talk about some shit that nobody cares about? Yeah, okay. Bro, WrestleMania happened yesterday. It was wasn't a uh, Logan Paul in it. He was. Was he good, dude? Logan Paul. Oh my god, I hate this guy but, so much. But, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude, he is a natural born pro wrestler. Okay, prime energy drinks, they suck. Okay, mm-hmm. they taste horrible. But there was he, uh, Logan Paul was wrestling Seth Rollins, and KSI was disguised as a prime energy drink bottle. He pulls yeah. off the mask. He's like, it was me the whole time. Throws Seth on a table. Logan Paul goes to, like, do a shooting star press on the table. But then Seth Rollins pulls KSI on the table. Logan Paul's shooting star presses him. Seth throws him back in the ring. Curb stomps his ass, put him down. Dude, oh, my God. Logan Paul is such a good natural heel. There's this thing for wrestling fans. But he's been doing that for 10 years. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's a. There's a heel. There he is. Yep. There's KSI. There's Logan Paul. That's the video. It's so crazy. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Seth pulls him in. Logan. Yeah. Bop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's. I love wrestling. I did wrestling for about a year and a half. Yeah. Uh, I, I love the sport so much because um people say oh it's fake and it is right but it's more so scripted. Oh, well, I mean, you jump off like that. That's it. Can only be so fake. Yep. Just yep. choreographed. Yeah. Yep. Like there's this guy called Shane McMahon uh-huh. who came back and he's a 60 year old washed up idiot. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a fan of the guy. He goes back because he wants to do his vanity appearance, get some clout, do a little match. Yeah. Uh, he wrestles for five seconds and he tears his quad immediately. Okay. And so yeah. guess what happens? You're not going to believe me. What? Okay. Just try to think of a random person. Okay. Shane McMahon was going to wrestle this guy called The Miz. Okay. okay. Miz knows Miz. Sure. I don't yeah, know. you know the the memes are actually crazy. Uh, so Shane McMahon tries to beat up Miz, uh, goes for a, uh, a a leapfrog over his opponent Miz, um, misses it, tears his quad. Here it comes. Yep, and he's down. Oh. <laughs> yep. And so, guess who replaces him in this match? <laughs> Fucking Snoop Dogg. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. That makes sense. So Snoop Dogg improvises this match. Uh, Hits Miz in the oh, face yeah. like twice, okay? And then does the uh, people's elbow, which is Dwayne The Rock's Johnson's signature move, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. to put him down. And he's like running him down. He hits him in the face again. Wait, you, you, check out this. Check this out, bro. This people's elbow goes crazy. If you skip forward like five seconds, we'll do it a little bit quicker. Oh, oh I'm, yeah. I'm ready to wait for it, yeah. Dude, Snoop is so cool. He's a huge wrestler. Oh they, they don't show God. him this video, but that's okay. He jumps out and beats the shit out of him, bro. I love wrestling. That's nuts. Yep. And you know what's even crazier? What? Oh, here it is. Here it is. D O double G. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my that's a, God. By the way, that's a 50 year old man. Bob. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I love it so cool holy shit <laughs> so there was a bunch of talks that wwe and vince mcmahon were going to sell the company to saudi arabia okay it's been talked for about a year and a half they actually sold the company yesterday all right they sold it to endeavor who's that uh ufc okay so that is huge implications for, for what could happen in the future of the company. Well, I mean, they had, uh, you know, Brock Lesnar was a fighter. Yep. I mean, he was a heavyweight champion. He, he, he wrestled then, yesterday. Yeah, he went to WWE. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, it's already been happening. I mean, there's already been a lot of interplay between the two anyway. Yep, because uh, Brock Lesnar, I think, debuted somewhere in the 2000s, uh-huh. wrestled for a pretty good bit, came champion, then went to UFC, won the World Heavyweight Champion. He started in wrestling. Yeah, he did. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was called the next big thing. Okay. Yeah, he did that for a while. Then he went to UFC, won the championship, came back, first match back, beat the shit out of John Cena. <laughs> okay, and now he comes I back. Mean- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now he comes back and beats the shit out of whoever he wants. Yesterday right. was Omas, uh, as of time of recording, and this is probably like in 10 days when y'all yeah. see it. Uh, but that match was hilarious. And then the match that I went to watch, there was two of them, was a Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus the Usos and Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns is kind of like a modern day uh, The Rock. Okay. He's actually the cousin of Dwayne. Okay. So he's like the current like big boss. Yeah, yeah. And uh, those matches were crazy. But uh, I fucking love wrestling, bro. It's, really? It's IRL anime, bro. It's 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 just <laughs> for fun. But it's it's the closest thing to real life anime that we're ever gonna get. And I I fucking love it, bro. I remember whenever Stone Cold Steve Austin beat The Rock. 
Yep. And everybody in school was talking about it. Yep. It was like the fucking biggest day in third grade. Like everybody was like, third grade. You fucking believe that shit. Oh my yeah. God. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh yeah, it was nuts. <laughs> like I and I never really got into wrestling. Mm-hmm. Like we would do like, did you guys ever like whenever you were kids, like just like wrestle with like in the bedroom with like your friends, like throw each other around and shit like that? All the time. Oh, I would do that. I didn't watch time. wrestling, that's boy shit, but I, I would yeah. like fight. Dude, on the playground the the women's wrestling these days yeah is incredible like before it was super sexualized they would make women like do bra and panty matches where they had to strip their opponent down to their underwear first one to do it wins okay and it, it was lame but now there's wrestlers like uh raya ripley sasha banks um charlotte flair who are just so incredible at what they do or, or like That's oscar nice. or uh, io shirai it's 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 so beautiful because they get to do intergender wrestling as well. Yeah. Which is really, because a lot of combat sports are separated by men and women. Right. But like seeing like, because you are trying to be as safe as possible, like women and men being able to wrestle and like just really put on a show and do things that people don't think are possible are so cool. Like there's this move called a Canadian Destroyer. Have you ever seen it? No. Can you Google Canadian Destroyer? Oh my God. Jay, this move is nuts. Okay. So essentially what it is, I believe the move originated or was at least popularized by a wrestler called Claudio Castagnoli. I think, um, and essentially, you take a dude, and he's like at a 90 degree angle, yeah, and you're gonna throw him into your crotch, right? And then you're gonna grab him, and then you're gonna do a backflip and spike his ass. Is that not so fucking cool? How? Oh, fuck that shit. Isn't that crazy? Fuck that shit, I would never do that. Dude, and the oversells are so funny. Because people people say that's AJ Styles by the way I love that guy. Uh, people always say wrestling's fake and it is. But so like uh, you can say like the storylines are kind of scripted ahead of time. Yeah. But like I'm sorry I don't care who's doing that shit to me. You're not doing that shit to me. Yeah. There is no <laughs> shot. Like oh my god that's so fucking crazy. Like that's nuts. Yep. That was so perfect. Yep. I did a I did a little bit of wrestling for this company called Austin Anarchy Pro Wrestling. Yeah. About uh, a decade ago. And I was doing some backyard wrestling with this guy called Brandon. Uh-huh. Okay? And it was his first time, first day on the first day on the thing. I'm not going to say his last name. I don't want to dox all of it. Yeah, yeah, Anyways, yeah. there's a simple move called a DDT, okay, where you grab your opponent's head and you just fall back on yeah, the yeah, ground, yeah. okay? You release them or you bring them about two inches away from the mat. You don't actually drive their head into the mat. Yeah. But this dude full locks onto my head, drives his 200 pounds of body weight and my skull into a tree stump i was knocked the fuck out because I bet. wrestling it's like playing league of legends like when people sure. know what they're doing you, you get some cool results but when people don't know what they're doing it is dangerous and it's honestly very bad for your mental health uh, well yeah because it it hits your brain yeah <laughs> and yeah I, I fucking bet that is insane i love it bro I love wrestling so much. Yeah, I had a friend that would want to try wrestling moves on me, and he would like try to get he'd like try to throw me around the room and shit like that. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Constantly, yeah. it is. It's just good fun, man. Oh yeah, we kicked a hole in the wall. There's like three holes in my wall. Like it's Wait, just, it is still. Is, yeah. Well, no, because I put a poster of it. <laughs> okay, right. cool. That, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it is no big deal. And now. A word from our sponsors. Hey everyone, as the best Dark Souls player on this podcast, and therefore the best gamer on this podcast, I feel obligated to tell you that Starforge Systems is the go-to computer for all things PC gaming. I really couldn't imagine rolling three times, swinging my sword, and then rolling three more times on any other PC. Whether it's their Horizon line, which is great for new gamers, or someone just looking for a great deal, or their Voyager line, which is built with streamers like me in mind, you can't go wrong with the Starforge Systems computer. Go to starforgesystems.com and become a god gamer, just like me. Let's see, what else has happened this week? I got surgery. What? Yeah, it was just cosmetic surgery. Oh, for what? Uh, I had a mole on the top of my head and I got it sliced off. Oh, really? Dude. I, Did it hurt? No. Uh, Were you awake? Yeah. Oh. It was literally like, it was like, it was like a, I've had this mole on top of my head for like 29 years. I've had it since birth. Uh-huh. I hated it so much. Yeah. And then Soda got his mole removed. Yeah, I saw that. Which was huge. That was like, like that a- That was huge for him. That was like a, a another entity that was growing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, he told me that it would take a couple seconds. Uh, and they would just slice it off. And I said, okay, fuck it. What I did walk- they slice it with? I don't know. 
They yeah. fucked up though. Because oh, they, yeah. they went to go put the numbing agent in my head, uh-huh. but they they poked it through my head, not uh-huh. just in it. And so it sprayed all over my face, which uh-huh. was hilarious. That's nice. Uh, but then they just sliced it off, didn't feel a damn thing, cost me like a hundred bucks. And now the one thing that drove me nuts more than anything in my entire life has been removed. And I just feel like a completely new person. I bought a leather jacket. Wow. Some aviators. Top G. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Because, dude, that mole, I hated it so goddamn much. But now I'm a free man, and I want to start living that way. Is it really that bad? Yep. Yeah, God damn. I'm going to escape the Matrix. I've never had a mole or anything like that before. I, I, If I did, I would probably just never get it taken off because I would worry that somehow it would kill me. I have a small mole on my arm that my mom wanted to get removed because the doctor told her it might be cancer when I was, like, five. Yeah. Did you get removed? No, I still have it, but because it's not it? that big. Where? There. That? Yeah, it's small. Bro, you, it's can get nothing. The, you can get that thing sliced off. Well, I don't even think it's like that bad. It looks like a birthmark. Here's, yeah, exactly. Here's what I'm wondering. Why would I keep something on my body that could be cancerous? Let's just slice it off. Well, it's not cancer. It's a mole. Well, I, just, I hate be, being told that. Oh, is, is yeah. that mole okay? Or is it going to kill you yet? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll, I'll just slice it off, dog. Yeah, I would guess so. I mean, I, I've, I've never had any surgery like that at all before. Like, I've gotten my teeth fixed, but that's about it. Yeah, it's I like, need to do that. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, every time I go in there, I'm, like, so paranoid about it. But it's never a big deal. It's actually not a big deal. I just freak myself out about it every single time. Yep. Yep, That 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 is my life. Getting stressed out about shit that doesn't matter. You know? <laughs> like, and, and like, I feel like now, especially on the internet, all that you do, all some people do is they just spend all day. I'll read their Reddit profiles and stuff. They'll spend all day getting mad. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's their whole job. Just getting mad about different things that they don't like. It's sad. It is. I mean, it, it's, it's fun to a point. Yeah. I think for some people it's fun. Yeah. But others like. It's, yeah, a, it's a little more than that. <laughs> yeah. It's like they're addicted to like punching themselves in the head. You know what pisses me off? What? Brand name recognition. Where people say, oh, like these these aviators, right? Okay. Yeah. Eight dollars. Uh-huh. I go on Amazon. I can buy the same ones, but they say Rayman on the top left, $220. Just don't buy them. Fuck that. Do y'all care about brand names at all? Um, mm, Let me think no. of a brand name that I do care about. Um... Like for clothes or just anything? Anything. Well, I think for some things, yeah. Yeah, like, like for food, I care. Really? What do you mean? Do you give a shit about like whether it's great value or not? Well, it depends. Like some great value stuff's the same, but if it's like Doritos or something, I don't like eating the off-brand shit or like root beer. I don't like those like off-brand cans. I'm only eating mug or like A and W. Instead of Dr Pepper, it's Dr B, and like yeah. Dr B <laughs> sucks D. Yeah, dude. dude but Dr or Mr Pib isn't that isn't Mr Pib off-brand Dr Pepper? Yeah, it is, but it's good. It's better. It, I think it can be better. Yeah, yeah it's good. No, I, I, I don't really ever spend extra money for like name brand stuff maybe, ever. Maybe just clothes. I think name brand is dumb. I mean, for clothes. I think for food's like the only one I care about. But I'll still eat off-brand food. It's just like if I could choose, I usually pick the the B brand. You know. Yeah, I get that. I just I don't like spending money on something whenever I feel like I'm getting had. Like whenever I go to Starbucks and I see like the prices there, it's like if I buy something here, I'm stupid. Like this is like I'm an idiot if I, I buy Starbucks. this. Yeah, I also love Starbucks. But it's like nine dollars though. That's nuts. How are you gonna spend nine dollars on that shit? Why? Because it tastes fucking good. But does it taste that much better than like an ice cream cone at Wendy's? Do you want me to go home or and a make frosty, bro? A frappuccino? Yeah. Bro, them John's crazy. What the fuck is a frappuccino? Dude, Java chip frappuccino. It's a coffee milkshake. I don't even know it, what that is. It's, it's coffee, chocolate, whipped cream, more chocolate, ice. It's fucking good. Why would you put ice in it? Make it cold. <laughs> it makes it taste that's good. Na- that's water. You drink water with that shit? That's nasty. So chocolate, chocolate and water? What the fuck? Bro, wait. What You got ice in that drink? Yeah. What the fuck? Well, it's because it's, it's a different... No, it's a viscosity <laughs> thing. Like, it's totally different because it, it, it's mixed on its own. Like, that's this is totally different. fucking different. I feel like yeah. it's the same thing. I, I don't think so. <laughs> I feel like it's the same thing. Oh. Also, wait, are y'all Pepsi or Coke? People do not care. I like doing both. Um, you mix? Well, not at the same time. Oh, okay. But I don't yes. Like either. Okay. You don't like either? I don't. Well, I don't hate them. I don't. I just don't really care for Coke or Pepsi. I'll like pick any other drink. Oh, Pepsi is crazy. What do you mean? What What, what do you want then? What What do you like? 
Uh, I like Dr. Pepper. Okay, I like yeah, root yep. beer. I like orange soda. I like lemonade. The others are That's like whatever. Not like a Sprite's soda. okay. Lemonade is no. Not I, I didn't say it was. I'm just like okay. thinking if like we're at like the drink fountain, they yeah, usually yeah, yeah, have yeah. lemonade. Yeah, but I never pick Coke or Pepsi. It will be like Dr. Pepper. What's wrong with it? Why? Are What's you wrong too, with why it? Are you too good for Coke or Pepsi? I'm not too good for. It. I just don't. It it feels like the taste tastes so much more syrupy than other sodas. More than Dr. Pepper. To me, yeah. Oh my god. Dr. Pepper tastes like spiky. I don't know how to explain. Yeah, it. yeah that's what I think. I love the spikes of Dr. Pepper. It's spiky. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know. I use bad words to explain things, but I'm sure some people Dr. know Pepper. what I mean. I I have realized I've become a little bit of a food snob, to where I get angry when yeah. people say that my favorite foods aren't good. Like for example, there's this re- sushi restaurant that I go to a lot, and there's this thing called the uni toast. I knew you were gonna say that. Bro. Asman would never eat that shit. I, I know, what but the, what what is? Okay, so uni is um sea urchin. Uh, yeah. And toast, so it's like uh, sea urchin on bread. <laughs> Bro. This is the nastiest shit. What are you doing? It's so fucking What are you doing? Like, what, what, who's, what's wrong with, like, what person? Look at that. Oh my, it looks like Twinkies. It does. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like uni, I like sea urchin as well. Why would you do this? Like, what would compel someone to say yes, no? No, the because lambs. because it's an experience, like trying new things, and yep. the those pigs, new things are the good. The cows. This isn't enough for me. Yep. I need even more. And no, it's not good enough for me to catch a fish. I have to dive down into the coral reef and pick up these fucking sea urchins, pull them apart, take these little yellow things out of them. Yep. Isn't that their dicks? Or no, yep. it's called it's like their. Wait, it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, it's their, their gonads. I'm yeah. pretty sure it's gonads. Yeah, what? I'm pretty sure you're right on that. Yeah. You know why I do it? Because cows are cute. Sea urchin ugly. I like eating no, ugly. No, they're things. not. That's that's why I eat flounders. I just eat whatever ugly. tastes good. What's wrong with a flounder? Well, no, they got good. two eyes on one side of their head. That's a bit of a uh, yeah. Google 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 flounder. Yeah. So you're literally eating urchin dicks. Yep. I love dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, it is. there it is. So yeah, I eat that son of a bitch because his ass is ugly as fuck. And I eat like 15 of them, Johns. Yeah. Because I don't want that shit on my earth again. I'm going to eat him into extinction. <laughs> Look, he, he's just trying to get by. He just trying to, he just, he, he's living on the bottom of the ocean. Oh. Think if he's just trying to he, live his he fucking life. He does like, taste good. And yeah. And you're getting down there into the bottom of the ocean. No, like it's you, like, it's like the sea chicken. <laughs> It's, Think about that as you, you just it just let him let him live his life. It's like there's a chicken on the ground. Like just go after the chicken. But there's a sea chicken that no one Nobody loves. Anyway. Just let just him be him. there. He's just in he's in the water. Like what is this? Yep. I don't understand how people can Isn't get involved. Isn't overfishing like ruining the the earth or something? I don't Probably. know. Everything, it's, it's every, good. Everything's ruining the earth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cows are also ruining the earth. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because they 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 like fart or something like that. They're nasty. They smell bad. You know what else ruins the earth? What? The fact that we have to end today's show. It is what it is. Yep. It's over. All right, guys. We gonna read one of those fucking reviews? Yeah. Yeah, I'll read one let of these. Read, fucking. Let me, I want to read one. I never. I never read one. Hey, that's all you, baby. This guy's name is Sick. It's literally just Sick. Five stars. Oh wait, is this? Wait. Wh- is that his name or is this his name? That's that's the title. That his name's on the you right. Got this, Asman. Oh, his name's Project Gummo. <laughs> and he said the title is sick. I did not know Tectone before this podcast. Now I look forward to seeing how many people he pisses off. <laughs> Five oh stars. hell yeah. Five star review, gentlemen. Let's go, baby. That's my job. On Apple, uh, Spotify, and also YouTube. Thank you all very much for watching. We really appreciate it. And uh, I think we're pretty much good to go. Yep. So we will see you all in the next one. See you guys next week. Peace.